Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Once more I am with you with another topic which I would like to explain this. So before going further I would like to request you to please like, share and subscribe my channel. So today we'll talk about the unicellular and multicellular organism. It's a lecture 2. So first before I'm going to start unicellular organism. Some living things such as bacteria and yeast are made up of only one cell. An organism or living things that is made up of only one cell is called as unicellular organism. Uni mean one, cellular mean organism. It means a, an animal which is only based on one cell that is called as unicellular org organism. So you can see there is some more pictures I have uh, added over here. So you can see these all are unicellular organism. Now I am coming toward the multicellular organism. Living things such as plants and animals are made up of many cells. They are called as multicellular organism. Uh, large, large animals such as elephant is made up of many more cells than a small animal cell like frogs and other. So, Jazakallah for today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.